I'm going to teach you how to simplify without negative exponents. One example I have here is negative 2x to the negative 7 times y to the 7th multiplied by 3x squared y to the negative 5th. The first step to do is to combine the like terms, which are the negative 2 and the 3. When multiplied, that gives you negative 6. Next step to do is to actually multiply x to the negative 7th and x squared. But the thing is, when you multiply by negative exponents or multiplying by exponents at all times, you must actually add the exponents instead of multiplying them. So negative 7 plus 2 gives you negative 5. So it's going to be x to the negative 5th. Now the last one, the last step to do, of course, is y to the 7th multiplied by y to the negative 5th. But again, we have to add the exponents. So 7 plus negative 5 is 2. So that will give you y squared. Now we need to get rid of that negative 5 exponent. So we must bring it down to the denominator to actually get rid of the negative. So the negative 6 stays the same. Remember, that can always be a negative. It doesn't really matter. We just want the negative exponent to get canceled out. So x to the negative fifth will go down in the denominator, and it will make it a positive 5 because we canceled out the negative. y squared will stay on top because it does not have a negative exponent. So the y squared will stay there, and that is your answer, negative 6y squared over x to the fifth.